Hi, my name is Tibor Stichter. I'm a senior lecturer in hydrogeology and groundwater resources at the UNESCO IHC Institute for Water Education. And I'm also the coordinator of the new Erasmus master program on groundwater and global change, impact and adaptation. Now, if we have a look at the main thematic areas of the program, um, we can see that they focus on general hydrogeology, groundwater data collection, interpretation and modeling, climate processes and modeling, integrated river basin management, water resources management, uh, groundwater and environmental impacts, groundwater policies and, socio and socioeconomics, and finally, of course, also groundwater climate and global change adaptation. If we look at the mobility scheme, as a student you will start uh, in Lisbon, uh, in, at the start of the first semester you will come to Lisbon and you will have the, the first six months of modules focused on uh, hydrogeology and hydrology environment, water resources, environmental policies, uh, ocean atmospheric physics and other modules that are particularly linked to the environmental perspective, the environmental engineering perspective that um, the, the University of Lisbon has. Moreover, it hosts uh, re, uh, an important research center in, uh, in semi-arid hydrogeology. In the second semester, at the end of the six months, you will go to Delft, where we are based, and, and come to UNESCO IHG, where you'll be working a lot on uh, groundwater-related uh, disciplines, such as modeling, fieldwork, but also a specific module that we are uh, developing for this uh, course on groundwater and climate change impact and adaptation, where we will invite scholars, uh, guest lecturers from other institutes in, in, uh, that are uh, renowned for their experience. In the third semester, uh, you will then go to Dresden, the Technical University of Dresden, and they're um, very known for their, and, uh, for their experience in surface water, climate, groundwater interrelations and feedback mechanisms. So that's the main modules that you will be having in, in that, uh, at that university. And it will include some, also some optional modules because uh, that those will depend on, on towards where you will target your MSc thesis. Your thesis that you will be writing uh, or working on uh, during the fourth semester. In, at, uh, that can be at any uh, institution. You will have a promoter from one of the three full partner uh, universities, but you can have mentors and co-promoters from other associated partner uh, partners. Now, in terms of employment prospects, you can think of an academic career, you can think of uh, working at a governmental body, at an NGO, or even in private, in consultancy companies, for instance. You can, as a, in, in academic sector, you can think of pursuing a PhD on one of the uh, topics regarding groundwater, climate, uh, global change interactions. Uh, many uncertainties that still need to be studied there, but you can also, for instance, choose to be a lecturer and disseminate the, your gain, the gain knowledge. Of course, governmental bodies, NGOs, private com companies, they are all more and more interested in this uh, yeah, in the, in the need for uh, fresh water availability and for the study of fresh water, climate, global change interactions. So definitely there will be a market there for, for students coming out of this course. 